channel or welcome if you are new. So today, I am on the toilet. I guess technically I'm like on the toilet, but I'm not like on the toilet. Am I really gonna start a video off on the toilet? Technically, this is a cleanse. There's a reason for this, of course, I think. I have an explanation. So I just got off of work. It is currently 7.20 at night and if y'all didn't know my house has no freaking lights so the toilet room not even the bathroom because i'm in japan japanese bathroom have like separate bath and separate toilet rooms which is really irritating but the toilet room has the best lighting in the whole house bear with me guys bear with me i won't be in here that long but anyways today tonight i'm going to be doing the phase one cleanse from my ebook if you would like more details, please go check out my ebook. I'm only doing phase one. Um, it does consist of three phases. So if you want more in-depth information on how to lose weight fast, keep the weight off, and kind of transition into a more healthy lifestyle naturally, go check out my ebook. If you don't want to purchase my ebook, skip you. Oh my god. It was like the New Year's holiday. If y'all saw from my other video, I made a huge pot of gumbo. And I had to eat the whole pot of gumbo by myself. Jambalaya and macaroni and I, I, I've just been eating everything. Which is kind of fine because I try to like balance it out. But recently, recently, I've been eating like crud and my stomach hurts like always. I'm actually kind of happy that I can't get away with eating the terrible foods that I used to eat. Now my body's like, mm. no, 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 no. no. Also, it's like really tight and bloated. I have like a lot of heartburn and just like stomach pain. And the weird thing is when my stomach starts hurting for some odd reason, I always crave ramen and McDonald's. Ramen and McDonald's are my life. But I shouldn't eat ramen and McDonald's when my stomach hurts. It just makes the situation worse. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna start my cleanse and then I'm gonna go for like one or two days. I don't know how many days I'm gonna do it for. It just depends on like how well I feel. I'm assuming it's gonna be tonight, all day and all night tomorrow and maybe the next day. Not really sure yet, we shall see. Time for dinner. start to eat like only fruits and vegetables you become so much more accustomed to adding fruits and vegetables to certain meals because I know in the beginning there was no way in heck your girl was about to eat a whole plate of broccoli like it was a meal where's the steak another great tip for like incorporating more fruits and vegetables is to add like a wide variation of them just experiment mix a whole bunch of different vegetables together until you find the combination that you like I really like to add at least four different vegetables I'm also going to make myself some peppermint tea. It super helps with bloating. I'm gonna say about four to five times a week, I always exercise at night. This one is basically a workout routine that helps get you used to working out again because before New Year's break, my workout routine was pretty like intense and I just know I can't jump all the way back over there. I am gonna be adding um, some ankle weights a resistance band and probably some other weights because it's just a little bit too easy for me. It's only a 10 minute workout routine, so it's not super hard. Garbage. peppermint tea with my dinner. I'm also going to finish all of this water before bed. I'll be on the toilet all night. I'm going to be doing the 
apple cider vinegar drink. Um, as I said in my other video, I freaking love this detox drink as a way of like just getting rid of bloating and helping your digestive system. It's freaking amazing. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this, some ground ginger, and some turmeric. 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 This yellow stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna dilute that with some water. Have this right before bed on an empty stomach, and the first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. I'm also gonna squeeze in half of a lemon. Good morning, beautiful people. I started off my morning with that disgusting apple cider vinegar drink, of course. Um, I already had breakfast. I just had a bowl of fruit. And I also already finished two of those giant mason jars full of lemon water. It is an absolutely beautiful day. So I don't work out in the morning, but I always do exercise. And my exercise is going for a really, really long walk. I am so lucky that I live in a place where I could just walk outside and be exposed to all of these positive vibes, motivation, and inspiration. I freaking love living here. Like, Japan has the worst weather, but when it does have good weather, it's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, and I'm just like, yeah, it's worth it. So the day's way too nice to sit inside, so we're gonna walk to the grocery store. I'm gonna pick up some more vegetables. Again with the grocery store haul. I got some stuff for the detox and I got some stuff that I just needed. I have a whole bunch of stuff already at home so this wasn't a super huge grocery store haul but I did want to show you what I got. Starting with the protein I got some eggs, chicken breast and they had at the other store, I didn't film it, pork on sale. I'm gonna like uh, slow roast that and make like I don't know maybe some chili or something. I got some kimchi, some green onions, red bell peppers are really they don't even taste like bell peppers i freaking love these things this is super popular in japan but it's just like cabbage and other vegetables and then there's like a sauce it's called nabe or hot pot i got some kale spinach and avocado yes i remember the name some celery pickled radish a grapefruit some bananas chicken pot pie filling cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes i really don't know some tomato paste I don't use this jam like as a jam. I use it with cooking meats. I got some olives, frozen broccoli, and some whole grain bread. This bread is amazing. They bake it there. It's always fresh. And it's only 57 calories per slice. I really love this bread. And I got two things of water, but I already opened the first one, so yeah. And some potatoes. So here's what I got. It's time for breakfast number two. So I'm just gonna make some sauteed kale with that uh, mushroom, some red peppers, and then I'm gonna have the cherry tomatoes and some carrots raw. I still have quite a bit left, so I'm probably gonna have that like for first lunch. Basically eating at least five to six meals today, but they're all fruits and vegetables. Just have the kale, red pepper, and mushroom sauteed, and I didn't add a lot of oil whatsoever. Um, I topped that with some red pepper flakes and some like lemon pepper mix. I did squeeze in some lemon, but I forgot to film it. <laughs> Cherry tomatoes and some diced carrots that are uncooked.
day three. I think I can stop now. Um, now I'm just gonna basically transition into a normal, healthy diet for a few days. And then I will balance my healthy diet with whatever the heck I wanna eat. That's how I like to live. I live a balanced life. But I just have to make sure I don't just have ramen. No, I'm not sucking in. This is me sucking in. Transitioning into phase three. Um, I'm using some of that kale that I had the other day and some eggs. Now I can have protein and carbs and everything else. I try to make sure the majority of what I eat is like fruits, vegetables, and proteins and that I keep the carbs, sugar, sodium, and fats to a minimum. So for breakfast, I'm just having that whole grain toast, little bit of avocado, a can of tuna, or you can also use a can of chicken, some sliced carrots, the egg scramble, which is just eggs, kale, red peppers, and mushroom. I think this is good enough for me. I'm not trying to actually lose weight. I was just trying to de-bloat and my stomach was hurting so I wanted to feel better. Pretty flat. It's so hard to see but before the holidays I had like shadow abs. The, the shadows of an ab. I, I almost had abs, okay? And now I have like this pregnant thing which I don't really know what to call this but it's I don't like it. I don't like it. And the thing is, it's like really tight. Again, that line is from my stockings. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. Ooh. Hey, see you guys next time.